Hey y'all, welcome back for another hunting ammo ballistics gel test. We're back with more 7mm Remington Magnum. We've got an absolute elk camp classic here. Federal Premium 160 grain Barnes TSX. And here's your box for that Federal Premium 160 grain Barnes TSX load and 7 mag. I stuttered there. We've got the elk icon, elk on the box. Really cool looking box. Let's go ahead and flip it around. Take a look at all their promo info. Here's their promo info. Feel free to stop, pause, and read that if you would like. Like coming on well actually first let's cover it's meant for big game says that right here medium to large animals deer bear elk and more nice to know let's go on over to the chart here muzzle velocity is stated at 2940 feet per second we'll see how close we get to that let's go ahead and open the stuff up take a look nickel plated cases that's a nice touch it does have the blue primer sealant stuff in there that's a nice touch let's pull one out and take a look and there it is, your 160 grain TSX-7 mag. Let's go shoot it and see how it does. And my test rifle today is my Tika T3X laminate stainless, chambered in 7mm Remington Magnum, of course. It's got a 24.3 inch barrel. It did not come threaded. I had that done after the fact. Up top, we've got a Leopold VX Freedom scope. And coming on back, I've got to show you one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs. Check out my website, masonleather.com, to get yourself one. I would love to make you one. This one, we've got seven mag stainless right in to let everybody know the lightning is about to strike. I've also got one of my super thick Latigo leather slings here. Check out my website for these as well. If you're looking for a leather sling that will last a lifetime, you're going to want to check these out. And coming around to the other side, I've got to show you my elk design. And real quick, if you're watching this video anytime around when it came out, I'm having a huge sale on my website, masonleather.com. Go check it out and get yourself something. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And here are your velocities for that Barnes TSX 160 out of the 7 mag, minimum 2751, max 2780 for an average of 2764. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting that Federal Premium 160 grain Barnes TSX load out of the 7 mag. We captured all three bullets. So let's go ahead and look at penetration real quick first. There's one way down at the bottom of the block there. It's kissing... We'll give it, eh, gosh, it's right at 32 and a half inches. Then we have these two that are about neck and neck in penetration. We'll give both of those 34 inches. So these things did what Barnes TSXs do, which is expand a reasonable amount and hold together completely and penetrate very, very deep. Coming on over to the first block, let's look at the wound cavities. This is pretty typical of a Barnes TSX wound cavity. Actually, this is quite quite a bit better. Let me let me back up. This is quite a bit better. And I think that's because these are hitting with that 7 mag velocity and we're getting more wound cavity up front than we typically would see from a Barnes TSX. Usually they're not too, you know, explosive up front. Explosive in terms of energy release. The wound cavities usually are not this damaging looking. And so we have expansion starting pretty slow and then it picks up by about the two inch mark coming on back and it really starts to taper off at about eight, eight and a, well, eight and a half to nine inches. And then it just keeps on penetrating. There's a little bit more wound channel here. And then by about the 16 inch mark, it's just penetrating through and the damage is done. And I came around to the other side of the block, see if we can get a better look at the bullets down there. Look at those. The mushrooming up front is very typical of a Barnes TSX. Somewhat narrow profile for an expanded bullet. That is par for the course with solid copper and monolithic bullets. They all look really nice. Let's go ahead and dig them out and take a look. All right, y'all, we shot it. Let's talk about it. That federal premium load with 160 grain Barnes TSX out of the 7 mag. Weight retention wise, 160 grains across the board. 100% weight retention. I've really come to expect nothing less from Barnes TSX bullets. They just perform pretty much 100% of the time weight retention wise, incredible. Expansion wise, this is somewhere where this particular load did exceptionally well. 
0 0.63, 0 0.64, and 0 0.64 inches for an average of about 0.64 inches expanded diameter. That works out to 2.3x expansion. And the reason I say it's done, it did particularly well is because the Barnes TSX bullet in my tests so far usually doesn't go much past the 2x mark. 1.9x seems to be about the top end limit, 1.7, 1.8, 1.9, 2x, but to get 2.3x expansion is really good. And just look at the photo of these bullets, nice and even, all the pedals expanded well, incredible. On to velocity, our high velocity was 2780, our low was 2752 for an average of 2764 versus the factory spec of 2940. So these came in 176 feet per second slower than box spec. That is disappointing. There are several seven mag loads that didn't come in anywhere near this slow versus box spec, so there's that. At the end of the day, not the biggest deal, it is what it is. And our estimated velocity down there at 100 yards is about 2,571 feet per second at impact. Moving on to penetration, this is somewhere where the Barnes TSX shines and this load is no exception. We saw 32 and a half, 34 and 34 inches for an average of about 33 and a half inches of penetration. Really, really good. And also very consistent. All the bullets were right there in that little inch and a half range. These things are gonna go through whatever you need them to. Looking for a shoulder shot on something? Hey, this is a great option. Break bone and keep on going. And kinetic energy wise, with a 160 grain bullet going on average 2,764 feet per second, we're looking at 2,714 foot pounds at the muzzle and about 2,347 foot pounds down there at 100 yards. And that is towards the lower end of what I've seen from most seven mag hunting ammo. They typically fall in the 2,700 to 3,100 foot pound range. This is towards the bottom of that. And that's an effect of the lower velocity. And a quick announcement before we get to my final thoughts, if you'd like early access to my videos weeks and even months in advance of everyone else, become a channel member. The links will be in the video description and the pinned comment. Thanks y'all. All right, y'all, time for my final thoughts on the Federal Premium with 160 grain Barnes TSX load out of the 7 mag. I think these did largely what they were supposed to, well, exactly what they were supposed to, other than the, the dismal velocity number. Um, incredible weight retention, 100%, wouldn't expect anything less. Great expansion for a solid copper TSX bullet. We usually don't see something like 2.3x, but we got it here. Penetration was also excellent, past 30 inches for all three shots, average 33 and a half. These are gonna get to where you need them to. And so real quick, let's take a look at the back of the box and see, did, these, did this load do what it's supposed to do? I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go ahead and start doing this in videos if I remember to. So this proven, I'm gonna read right off the box. This proven all copper hollow point groups tightly at long range and delivers consistent large diameter expansion. As far as groups go at long range, I can't say, you know, one way or the other, but it definitely gave us large diameter expansion. 2.3X is pretty darn good for a solid copper bullet. The monolithic design retains nearly 100% of its weight on impact to penetrate deep, and its groove shank minimizes barrel fouling and improves accuracy. Accuracy wise, again, these are plenty accurate for whatever you're gonna do with them, but it definitely did retain 100% of its weight and penetrated deep. So these things did what they're supposed to do, except for the velocity number, which is par for the course with most factory ammo, it is what it is. It's not super important. All in all, I'm very pleased. If I was looking for a seven mag load for your larger game elk, stuff like that on the box, it says big game, medium to large animals, deer, bear, elk, and more. I think this stuff would be a great option. It's gonna expand, it's gonna retain weight, it's gonna penetrate, it's gonna deliver that punch where you need it to. There's a lot of fans of the TSX bullet for a reason. So if you've used this load on game, let me and everyone else know down in the comments how it did for you. And check out my website, masonleather.com and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear. And also tons of photos showing all the customizable options, including name, initial, and caliber stamping, as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA. I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests and lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment, or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.